okay guys i just uh, happened to see this watercolor painting okay this resem resembled and reminded me of the ventricles so i'm going to just describe to you the ventricles and the coronary artery okay so we are going to only draw now the right coronary artery okay and its branches so the right coronary artery continues as the acute right marginal artery okay on the anterior surface so this is right acute marginal artery all right okay now we also have a right anterior ventricular arteries okay so these are right okay where do i mark this okay so let me mark this as one this as two okay so one is a right anterior ventricular artery and two right acute marginal artery all right okay probably i should have chosen a different color now i can't do anything about it and then we have on the posterior surface okay it goes as to the you have the atrioventricular node here so we have the atrioventricular node artery okay so the one which goes here gives rise to number 3 so 3 would be atrioventricular nodal artery all right and then we have this descending artery the this one okay so let me name this as 4 so 4 is the inferior interventricular descending artery okay so this one is only to deal with our right coronary artery and its branches so what are they so it continues as a right acute marginal artery oh wow all right now this looks a little better like you can see it's like magic and then you have the right anterior ventricular arteries then posteriorly it gives rise to the av nodal artery and the right inferior interventricular descending artery yes right coronary artery right acute marginal artery right anterior ventricular artery then the posterior branch which gives rise to the av nodal artery and the interventricular descending artery because that's the interventricular septum so this is the right ventricle this is the left ventricle okay so we've seen right coronary artery i found it interesting let me know if you did to dr rajaratna here